previously. <laughs> no! It dealt with it! What was that about? I should have summoned the Utopia! On Progression Series Season 2. Red Gadget effect is fine. I am going to Torrential this. It's still too no! tantalizing, even though you get the gadget. Oh, that's a huge... Oh, man. The reason I'm going to win this game, if it works, is uh, I'm going to summon Maki. And I showed him, too. He's going to know for next episode. <laughs> In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, we'll be introducing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code CMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Another successful win last week. We're evening up the score week by week. Dude, I can't wait to reclaim the crown. I'd really like to reclaim the crown. I'm pretty sure the last time I've had it was the start of season two. Be nice to get it back, you know? With a couple more powerful wheel spins, maybe we can get there. Um, last week was battle pack, and there's only two different rarities. There's rare and common, and then all the cards come in Starfoil rare. Like we've done for other ones, we're going to bundle the rare and the super into a common card of my choosing from battle pack one. And we're going to bundle the ultra and secret together into any card of my choosing from battle pack one. And of course, the starlight can be any card, and the promo can be any promotional card that we've had since then. Let's spin it! Big money, please! I'm looking for something big. Wow, really loud. Turn down the wheel a little bit. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about the band ticket. I might have to get a little choosy to maybe remove something from Alex's collection. I don't think there's much that I'm really, like, actually scared of. I don't think he even has much over me. I'm pretty sure we have, like, the same card pool. It's kind of crazy. I, I'll think of something, I'm sure. Fun set today, though. Fun set today. Things are gonna get spooky. I'll let Alex tell you all about the Haunted Mine. Damn, we uh, kind of got rolled in the last episode, not gonna lie. And I was thinking about my pulls and if I should have like actually respun or not. I actually sadistically went back and spun Battle Pack a couple more times after doing all that to myself. And those pulls were by far infinitely worse than what I pulled in the very first set that I ended up keeping. So I think overall, I feel pretty good about it, but obviously, you know, it could have been as crazy as gauges and, uh, you know, we would have been in a much better position. However, one card we are able to access once again in this set is Gore's the Emissary of Darkness. This comes as a ghost rare in gold series Haunted Mine. I think this is the final gold series until we get to much later on in Yu-Gi-Oh! when we start getting to like premium gold, infinite gold, all that. But this is the last time where we have those big, thick, 25 card packs and uh, each containing three gold rares. I think one of the gold rares can sometimes be replaced with a ghost. Gores is the only one of these that matters. We already have the rest of these in all honesty. So I think that's what I'm aiming to get the most. As for gold rares, honestly, unfortunately, we sort of already have all these, so it doesn't matter too much. Utopia's in here, and I think had I known that, I may have possibly maybe considered respinning again because it, it's it's gonna be what well, there's what there's 12 gold rares and we're pulling 15, so the chances of getting one Utopia from this are pretty high. But I guess it'll be nice having multiple, and that means more rank fours at our disposal. And then the commons, I gotta be honest, I think these are all terrible. It's all zombie support. I guess what's cool is that Zombie Master's in here at common, and so is Book of Life. So like we actually have the makings of like all the other missing pieces for a zombie deck if we did want to go and revisit that strategy come to think of it call the haunteds at three now and card of safe return is still legal huh anyway we have to open our turbo pack uh eight as a matter of pack three packs of this first time opening this and i gotta be honest i don't think there's anything that great in here let's flip up and see uh fire dog would be nice if gauge didn't ban it thanks gauge appreciate it uh same thing for there and uh last pack anything good wow a play set of fucking fire dog that's insane gemini imps is kind of neat but I, I think we're probably past the point of this being good in any case it's going to the collection we've got five packs of gold series five to open Let's get cracking. We decide we're going to open a couple packs of Gold Series Haunted Mine here. Typically, you'll only get one big pack in these boxes, but it'd be pretty lame to just open one pack, right? So we're going to open five packs of Haunted Mine. 
Some good potential to get some pretty cool ghost rares. Alex has a chance at gores. I'd be pretty impressed if he missed it, honestly. I, on the other hand, I'm looking for a few things. Let's see what we get. Look how many cards, man. A lot of the common cards are gonna be zombies. Let me just flip them up. And the gold and the ghosts are at the bottom. You get two gold rares and a ghost per pack. And the rest of them are filled out by commons. As you can see, the commons, a lot of zombie cards. Go figure, it's the haunted mine. I don't think there's any reprints that we're actually going for. Don't think there's anything too great in the common slot, honestly. Maybe if, like, neither of us got goblin zombies, but I'm pretty sure we got a lot of them in the reprint pack. We're past that phase anyways, right? These ones... Not too good. I've had all of them except Hyperion, and I'm not playing an agent deck anytime soon. I'm not playing an agent deck anytime soon. Why'd it give me another Hyperion? These suck. Grimrow is bad, too, and then also Judgment's one of the worst ghost rares. I'm not particularly looking for any ghost rares. I got a Gores, uh, but Alex is probably gonna, like, re-roll until he gets one of them. Looking for a couple of other gold rares, though. Uh, didn't you guys miss it? Look how thick these packs are. Uh, the cards we are looking for the most are going to be these three slots down here, because I believe this is where the gold rares are located, if my memory serves. Let's go to pack number one and see, and there we go. Oh, I really hope that this is not a... Oh my god. If this was actually a shot at gores, and this is the only ghost gold rare that we pull, I'm going to be tilted, because that, that sucks if we actually hit the chance and just didn't get it, obviously, but it's fine. Uh, we got Zombie Master and Book of Life. We're basically guaranteed every common in the set which is kind of cool but at the same time it's kind of like whatever because we're already like we already have most of this but man nothing really too good here pack number two please oh do we just get a ghost in every single one of these or am i just extraordinarily lucky and i hit the table twice i really hope that's not the case uh burrito would be sick i love car curry to death but unfortunately i just don't think we're gonna be able to play it i think we got zombie master no book of life this time i'd like to see another copy although i think we're probably set on those anyway please flip them up Formula Synchron, Dark One, another Solemn J. Nothing I haven't had before. It's fine. That is the exact same pack I opened, number four, I think. One more pack left. Anything. That is the worst Gold Series Haunted Mind opening I've ever seen. I got three Fabled Grimrow, three Master Hyperion. That was... That was really bad. I had a deck in mind today that I wanted to play. And I'm going to be really upset if I don't get to play. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. It might be greedy. I got a plan today, and it comes with a card in the gold rare slot that I'd really like to get at least one of. We're gonna re-roll it. We're gonna see what we can get in five more packs of the Haunted Mine. Okay, please tell me that we get a ghost in every pack, and I just didn't realize that we do. Oh my... Mm, okay, so I guess we do get a ghost in every... I swore it wasn't like that in the actual opening of this product, but maybe I'm mistaken. It's honestly, I've never like really cracked this product. This is when I was on hiatus, but we've, we've literally hit everything but gores at this point. So I'm, I'm just praying. I haven't even gotten Utopia in the gold rare slot, please. Okay, thank you. That is like the best pack we could have possibly opened because it's not only Utopia, but it's gores as well. So Gage had his one episode with gores, didn't even get to use it. Well, now we have a copy. So so playing field is even. Oh man, this, the shenanigans that are going to go down with this card. This is going to be a scary episode. That was a terrible start, man. That was really bad. All right, five more packs of the Gold Series Haunted Mine. Better luck this time, please. No, not really. Cephalon, the ultimate time lord. Pretty sure this is one of the only prints we've been able to get our hands on. Um, and then the blue eyes white dragon. I'm not a fan of the ghost gold rare. I think it does. It does not look good. I have a Gores. It's not that exciting for me, I'm going to be honest. Nateria Beast and Dark Hole, seen them before, seen them before. Another Gores. Yeah, go figure, man. I got one more pack to pull the one card that I've been looking for. And I'm not going to get... Damn, bro! What am I doing this week now? I wanted to get a Karakuri Burrito. I love the Karakuris so much. It's one of my favorite decks. And now I have... I, I can't even play it. I got I to gotta lock this in not even happy about it. You didn't get anything good about it. This was bad, bro. This is bummy. I wanted Barredos, because if I got Barredos, we would have been able to get cooking with the Karakuris. Unfortunately, I gotta pick a different strategy now. I wonder what I'm gonna take. Last pack, honestly, the only thing I think I want at this point is another Utopia, and that's not even really necessary. Uh, I, I, another Gore is fantastic. We're only playing one. I think it's limited anyway, so I don't think we can play more than one. Another Nap Beast is very funny. I think this is not limited, and I think I only had one of this, so you know what? I won't complain about that. This is sick. Uh, I got Gores. That's all I really wanted, and I got Utopia. Let's get to building. We came up a bit short with our Car Curry strategy that we wanted to take to the table today, so I just decided, let's take a page out of Alex's book. I'm taking my own version of Hero Beat this time around. I'm 
hoping Alex doesn't triple back on the same deck so we have a little bit of a spicy matchup here. Just using a whole bunch of efficient monsters on their own, you know, Cyber Dragon, 2100 free special summon, 1900 on a Neos alias body paired with Gemini Spark is an unstoppable force. Stratos is the king and then Photon Thrashers and Ryos are just difficult to get rid of. They're sticky dudes. I wish I was dead. Always pop in with the flavor. Yada Garasu. Maybe one day we'll resolve it, bro. I hope so. Whole name of the game is we're going to be slowing down the game to our tempo and then hopefully we could lock out the game with Yada Garasu after we get Alex in a top deck position. Again, just a hodgepodge of some of the most efficient monsters and efficient traps in the game and a very slim spell count built towards searching out those good monsters and also just complementing them really well. I think his deck is pretty good. Alex made a fatal misplay last game, which I think cost him it, but he probably could have easily walked away with it. It's a good strategy, and I'm willing to take it to the table myself. I think I can come out with a win on it. Looking back on the battle pack, there was a few things that I still wish I would have gotten, like Pot of Duality would have really shined in this list here. It would have been unbelievable, but um, just came up short with that. Cards like Phoenix Chain and Lance too, I would have loved to get multiple copies of them, but didn't end up getting them on our end. I'm pretty sure Alex got a little bit more lucky than I did. That's all right though. At the end of the day, it's the pilot, not the deck that matters, right? That's what people say. So let's go grab another win. Let's seal up this three win streak. So I don't know if you realize this, but I'm one loss away from getting into the banning again, which is unacceptable because I don't need Gage getting that much closer to tying up the series. So I figure what a better way to try to get back in the winner circle than play one of the strongest decks we probably have access to in Zombies, courtesy of the cards from Haunted Mine. Now, I did think about doing the Call the Haunted Card of Safe Return thing, but the problem is it conflicts with our newly pulled copy of Gores quite heavily because if we're using Call the Haunted to bring any of these things back and then sack it for Caius, that Call the Haunted is just going to stick on the field, which means our gores would be basically dead indefinitely for the rest of the game. So I don't want to play anything continuous that can get like locked onto the field in any weird sort of way. Otherwise, like the, the whole purpose of playing this card is just completely nullified. So we're just playing zombies. Uh, let's just do the card by card real quick. You've seen this before. We've got BLS. We're playing five lights in the form of three Valor and two Ryko. I feel like Gage is going to want to play some sort of tour guide deck because he pulled two tour guide last episode, didn't use them. And so now I feel like that he's had some time to brew up something. I feel like he's really going to be inclined to go the tour guide route. So I want to have like something to be able to fight back with that. We've got double Caius just as some bigger bombs as well as Dark Arm Dragon because we have plenty of darks. The triple Valor, the one bulb, the triple zombie, the gores, the Mizuki, the double tomato, the double turtle, the plague spreader. Then we have double Raikou, Sangen, Witch of the Black Forest, newly added as well, Spirit Reaper, and Zombie Master, a card that I have not had up until today. Speaking of cards we haven't had up until today, we also got a second copy of Book of Life, which is wonderful. This sort of bypasses the issue with Call of the Haunted. It only goes for zombies, I understand, but honestly, we just need one monster. Monster, honestly, and that just gets us off to all of our combos. We got one book, brain, dark hole, mind control, triple MST, and pot, and then just some traps, bottomless, D prison, judgment, and torrential. These are just like well rounded options, and we got some more on the side. The extra deck's just a bunch of nonsense, including Ally of Justice Catastor, Armory Arm, Black Rose Dragon, Brianak, Dark End Dragon, Doom Kaiser Dragon. Lightning Warrior is like slightly better than Urbellum, only because it has a slightly higher attack stat, so it's like harder to kill, and it's a light, which is kind of relevant for this deck. It, watch Urbellum come up, and I'll just eat my words but uh, we'll see. We have Android, we have Mistworm, Naturia, Beast, Red Dragon, Archfiend, and Stardust, and then we do have some Xyz, Levier, Utopia, and Photon Papal Operative. Not unlikely we can go into these, and Levier is actually quite good in this deck because uh, we're going to be doing a lot of banishing, so being able to get back like Mizuki or Plague off of this is insane. Then for the side, we've got double Sidra, double DD Crow, double Kaiku, double uh, Ryo. This is to help hedge against if he's playing any like Graveyard Hate in his side deck. We can just bring in a bunch of stuff like this and play like a more heavy hitter version of this deck. Just one smashing for some removal, double Compulse for the same reason and triple dust if he's on any weird back row deck and a second torrential i wanted to put this in the main deck but honestly i feel like there really wasn't much else i wanted to take out so depending on how swarmy his deck is we might bring this in post board so i'm excited to see how this one goes if gage is playing the same deck that's going to make for a very fun episode we'll see how that happens but ladies and gentlemen let's not make you wait any longer it's time to duel And this week, if any of you are going to be going to Nationals in Raleigh, North Carolina, both Nim Nim and myself will be attending, and we're also going to be at White Dragon Games in North Carolina as well to do a bit of a meet and greet. I know Gage is going to be playing in the tournament, taking some names, winning a PS5. Is, is that yep. you preparing for, Gage? Yep, I'll be. I've never played a game console in the last, like, decade. <laughs> 
But when I get the free PS5, you know I'll be gaming, Alex. Final yeah, Fantasy 16, a... buddy. Final Fantasy 16. Or you can <laughs> yes, play Master sir. Duel. You can play Master oh, Duel. I could on the PS5, on the bro. PS5. Pair me against all the noobs. <laughs> That's how it works. But we're going to be there. So if you guys want to show up either at Nats or at uh, White Dragon Games, we're going to be there for a good part of the afternoon. You can check out the description. I'll have some info in case you want to join. Gage, you ready to play? I'm ready to play. Let's do it. Gage, I am still glimmering in the afterglow of Battle Pack, and, but I feel like it's really difficult to be the set following Battle Pack in any capacity. But uh, Haunted Mind is is the set that follows, and it's uh, not as great, but I'll be honest. Yeah, I wasn't really spooked at what's inside there. There's like there's Ooh. some cool stuff, bro. There's some neat stuff, like maybe a Beredo if you didn't get one of those a while ago. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Or maybe a Gores. I know you're looking for one of those, the Emissary of Darkness. But uh, other than that, it's not that great of a set. The commons really are nothing good at all, I don't think. Yeah, it's all stuff that we already have for the most part anyway. And I mean, I don't know about you. I was looking for that Herald of Perfection, personally. Oh, yeah. You know, got to get that Ghost Rare Perfection. Could you imagine oh, yeah. Alinthio would be losing his shit right now if we dropped that in the progression series? You've but, even got all the uh, the orange lights to pair with the team. That's you true. You the whole deck rock in there. That's yeah. true. Uh, it's also interesting. I think, was it, uh, is Hyperion in here as well? Hyperion randomly? is in here. Yes, the master. Yeah. It's weird because it's like, that's our first crack at that. But I don't think we ever get the other uh, agent monster because that was exclusive no. to the deck, I believe. Yeah, uh, we don't get any of the agents until, Alex, goes from the past two. So if you're oh patient, my God. if you're patient, you can put those Master Hyperions to work. You're going to run agent in 2019 <laughs> or 2022, whenever the hell that set came out. I don't remember. But in any case, buddy, let's just get into it. I'm excited. Uh, I'm I'm one loss away from the banning, potentially. So you I gotta are. Be, I got to be on my A game today. Shout out to Patron Knightly Rose. Thank you for the support. Let's see how this rock, paper, scissors goes. And not very well, okay. All right. All right, Alex. I'm going to, you know, the classic, bro. I'm going to go second. It's your okay. move. Still not good enough for any of us to go first. I feel like we're slowly approaching that point more and more, but it, it is definitely taking its sweet time. Uh, I'll go standby main. Best of luck, buddy. And uh, I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that what you're doing? All right, I'll draw. Standby main. Let's see. Um, I will start by activating the emergency call. I'll get an elemental hero on the from heroes. My deck to my hand. Okay. Yes, okay. sir. Couple sure. of heroes. Uh, I'm actually gonna pull out not the Stratos. I'll keep him in deck. We'll grab a Neos Alias. It's probably because you already have him in the hand. I imagine. Uh, I might. Maybe I do. I'm gonna summon. This is a pretty good summon to me. The Thunder King Ryan. That is also a good summon. That's yes. true. I will go to the battle phase. Nineteen. I'll take 19. You know what's also a good summon? Gores, the Emissary uh, of Darkness. <laughs> I mean, I just talked about it, but I was like, ain't no way he has that right away. Like, why would you? Man, all right. I'm getting Gores. It's fine. I mean, hardly a prop. That's actually a big problem. That's actually pretty bad. Yeah, not bad. He's 1900 because you're Thunder King. bro. Yeah, that's pretty Yeah, nice Thunder King, huh? Nice Thunder King. Yeah, I'll go main two. Um, you can't negate this. I'll set one, two. I'll add a third. I'll pass. Go ahead. All right, I'm gonna get the alias or the Stratos in hand. Uh, I'll draw. Stand by anything? I guess I should no, ask. Could no, no, I don't have anything in the standby. You're good. <laughs> okay, main phase one. I have to deal with this Ryo. I'm probably okay with that. Let's just go battle. Let's just hit. See what you got. It's gonna look a little rough around the edges, but I think it's the right play. I'm gonna compulse the gores back to your. You're gonna give me back the gores. You can have okay. it. Now that, I, now that I know you have it, it's not a scary card. All right, you're we'll crash. crash. That's fine. Yep. Yeah, I'll, I'll happily take that. That's fine. I, I can't believe you gave me back the gores. I gotta admit, I'm kind of. Uh, oh, what are you gonna do? Just gonna pass turn one. again? You're not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna pass turn. No, I gotta play for you this time. I'll just T set. Go okay, T set pass is fine. I'll draw. Stand by main. All right. Um, I'm gonna get down the alias that you know about. Um, I'm gonna think about this. Oh yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to go to my battle phase and I'll try to get in for 19. It is Mystic Tomato. Okay, Tomato can float. That's fine. I will allow it. I would appreciate it. Uh, we will grab ourselves a two back row alias. I'm just going to grab another tomato. All right. No problem. I'll go to main two. Sure. I'll add another set and I'll pass. Go ahead. Sounds good to me. I'll draw. Stand by main. Let's bait out this Gemini spark that I know you have. Yeah. Yeah. I'll pop the tomato. Okay. Um, am I okay with that? Yeah, that's okay. Sure. Okay. Draw. We'll go normal witch. Oh, man, he's got it. <laughs> I have the witch. <laughs> I do have it. the witch. Um, 
Uh, I'm gonna activate Hero Blast, and I'm gonna put the oh, you might have my this. hand. You're gonna pop the witch? I will pop the witch, yeah. Sure. Uh, witch effect. Yep. Well, uh... Yep. I can search this now. This feels so weird that powerful? I can do this. It's so it's powerful. powerful. I figured that play powerful. out last season, dude. It was crazy. I know. It's wild. Uh, we'll go second main. I got alias in hand. I'm just chilling. You're playing hero beat, so... Okay, stand by main. Funny thing is, I know what that face down is 100%. It's definitely a bottomless trap hole. Like, you played it as if it was, too. You worried about that? It, I mean, I, I don't know if you've played this deck before, Alex, but a lot of the stat lines are around the 1900 range, so... I'm going to special Photon Thrasher. That's fine. Battle phase. 21 to the dome. I'll take 21. it. 21. I'll just pass. Go ahead. Interesting. All right, I'll draw. Oh, and I'll be drawing two uh, more. Yeah. Thank you very yeah, much. It is what it is. Okay. Nice to get back in the game. Appreciate that. Uh, well, you know I have this, so might as well drop it. Yeah, and I'll, I'll Torrential. Uh, you're a torrential, huh? Ugh, see what you got here. Now you got that alias lurking in hand. Now we're we're judgment. Oh, here. it's the judgment instead. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Torrential to graveyard. Get that out of here. Uh, we'll go, Dad. Yep. Pop the Thrasher. Let's, uh, pop the Thrasher. Uh, so I know you have a Neos alias. I know you also could potentially have Gores yourself, but honestly, if you do, I have dad, so I don't give a shit. Let's make this even harder. Oh, no. The Reaper. Yeah, I'm going to take 31. Go ahead and pick what you got. All right. See what we're hitting. Let's hit this one. All right. It is one of the aliases. What? Okay. I just <laughs> one of the aliases. Well, huh? Interesting. Know, Interesting. I'm not, Thanks for letting I'm me know. But in this game, it. anyways. <laughs> oh man, what is that? Uh, shit. All right, I'll summon the other, the other alias. <laughs> <laughs> is that okay? That's fine. Battle That's phase. Totally I'm gonna poke fun. your Reaper for. Yeah, get him out of here. Oh, You're not poking man, shit. Man, dude, come on. Give me a break. I'll just pass. Go ahead. Yeah, I do have to kill you. Oh, that that does that do it? Kills you. <laughs> I will. Uh, I will sacrifice my Reaper for Caius. Okay, Caius is mandatory. Oh, it is mandatory. <laughs> oh, I did not realize that it's mandatory. That's uh, that's a fuck up on my part. Can I take that back? Yeah, I thought it was optional. Yeah, you can take. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, oh man, that's crazy. In that case, how can I kill you? Forty nine. If I, that's man, annoying. If I'm alive for uh, a turn, that's good for me. I'll take no, it. No, you're not. I got to do this. We'll go normal plague. Yeah. We'll make a Cataster. Yeah, that's game. Ah, do I want Cataster? It's game if you make nah, it. It doesn't it. matter what you make, Zemo. <laughs> what are you doing, bro, man? As soon as you summon Plague Okay, Spurt, fine. Then just anyway. concede. Just concede. Wow, what were you waiting guy, for bro. if it didn't matter? <laughs>I just couldn't piece together a win there. It's all right. I'm not upset. I'm actually coming with a new strategy for game two, Alex. Are, are you? Interesting. Uh -huh. Guess okay. what that is. I'm going to elect for the first time, not against my will. I think it's the right choice. I'm going to go first. I'm going to go first. Okay. I'm going to take try one to get less the setup here. card, but I'm going to try to throw you off your game and get some killer setup. I will go standby into me. We're going to see if you regret it. Best of luck, buddy. Open pretty good with the e-call. I'm okay. confident. Good start. Good all start. Right. Give it a call to my good friend Stratos. I'll add him to hand. And then uh, I'll just drop him in, too. Bam. He's in here. for the normal effect. Go for it. All right. I'll pick up his good buddy alias. He's here. A couple of good-looking guys here. I'll set one. I'll set two. I'll set three. Wow. I'll set four. Why not? Okay. Go ahead, I know Alex. the I know what the last <laughs> card is. All right. Stand by main. I'll take two more if you don't mind, buddy. Uh, you know what? It's only fair. Yeah, you could take two. Okay. We're not playing Magic Drain anymore. Remember those days? <laughs> <laughs> card was broken. It was broken. It was crazy. It's actually one of some games. All right. Uh, Stratos four back rows is what everyone loves to play against. Stratos four back row. Uh, let's try this let's go set 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 over to you yep draw stand by me i'll drop in the alias on top here not surprised not he surprised. good to go i'm good all right a little scared of some cards like deep prison and stuff but they're vanillas i think it'll be okay uh i'll go 18 into your face down it is Ryko. 
seen him in a minute. What's up? What you bouncing? Yeah. Uh, we're going to pop. I'm going to actually pick out one of your back row, I think. Oh, he's sniping. I'm going to snipe. He's sniping. Let's see, let's see what American Sniper can get here. We're going to go for this one. Go for this one. Oh. Oh, pick a different one. <laughs> <laughs> pick a different one. That's not cool, bro. Ooh, thank you very much. I'll mill some coffee. Oh, oh, that's a nice mill, nice too. Little okay. Bald okay. in the bin, too. Not that's bad. Not scary. bad. Not bad. Yikes, bro. Um, I'll still try to sneak 19 in there. I'll let 19 in. That's fine. Okay. I'll go main two. Mm -hmm. I'll add a set card, and I will, uh, I'll pass it to you. Literally just all in on this board. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably going to be okay. I'll draw. Well, I was all in for a reason. I had Mr. Judgment in the back row well, before. All I out, had so. Mr. Judgment in the back row before, and it was perfectly fine. <laughs> and now we go activate Dark Hole, and my dreams are dashed. It's all right. It's all going to go to the graveyard. I'm, <laughs> okay, I'm Don't sure. Worry. I'm happy to see that. That's pretty good. All right, no monsters. Could still have Hero Blast, obviously. I do have to consider that. But no Gemini Spark, which is interesting. You could sell, like, a million other cards. Uh, I guess we can... Ooh, 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 there's some other stuff we could do, too. Now that I think about it. He's cooking? What's he got? Mm. You have four back row, though. There's no way it sticks. Yeah, if, it, if it sways your decision, I'm considering it. Locks, I'm not going to lie. You should do it. I mean, you're the one who has four back row, so I'm not surprised that you think I should do it. You know what, Gage? You know what? Just because we're good friends, I'm going to do it just for you. All right. Okay? You're up again, Normal too. Mizuki. Uh, powerful play. I like it. That's fine. Okay. Uh, activate bulb. To mill one. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. Nice All right. Zombie master. He's a good looking guy. There you go. Not, Not bad. bad. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. How's, uh, how's this nap beast looking against Ugh. you? I'm not happy. That's fine. Uh, that's fine, Alex. Natural wow. Beast, two Earths. Okay. Problem, bro. Yeah, keep it Interesting. Coming. Interesting. Okay, so you're telling me this nap beast is going to stick around? I'm shocked. Okay. Gage, I gotta be honest. I didn't think I'd get this far. All right. <laughs> Keep on going, man. Come on. What? What the fuck is your back row? If you're letting this nat be okay. So at this point, I have you on that. There's at least one D prison back there. Are you asking me? Was that a question? I, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm kind of just thinking out loud. If you're gonna tell me, like you told me of two I, aliases, that was I'd last it. game, Alex. That was last game. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm lasered in at this point. I'm a kind of tempted to just keep the Nap Beast here, if I'm being honest. You also have Compulse. You did Compulse back the uh, the Gores game once. You could just be sitting on that prison. I could just chill on this Nap Beast and just, like, if you don't have anything to answer, it, you just have to deal with it because your deck is 90% spells. You know what? Fuck it. Pass. All right, man. I'll draw. Did you draw a spell? <laughs> <laughs> This fucking guy, bro. <laughs> what, what if I did? <laughs> what if I did, Alex? You know what? How about oh, no? Oh, <laughs> no! Oh, that's kind of... Dude, that's kind of jank. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, that was a hefty <laughs> price to pay. I hope it was worth it. Um, Do you have a second compulse? <clears throat> I might have something. Give me a minute. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what yeah, I thought. Yeah. All right, now what now a, let's get some pressure on. Fine. Let's get some pressure on. Pyramid Turtle oh, 12. Yeah. yeah. I'm not attacking with this nappy. You think I'm attacking with this nappy? I don't You're know, crazy. Alex, but go. you might, bro. You kind of... <laughs> let's go. Stay on my main. Um, Did you draw another spell? No, I don't know what I drew, Alex. No, I'm, I'm not blind. <laughs> I can tell what I drew. I'm just not happy about it. Um... <laughs> go. go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Things are falling apart at the seams. All right, we'll draw. Yeah. Uh, let's keep the pressure going, Sangha. Oh, these dudes all, why are they all floaty? <laughs> 1,000, 20, or uh, 12. Yeah, I'll take both. 12, 22. Okay. Uh, I'll pass. I'll set one more. Go ahead. <clears throat> Draw. You're a bit quiet over there, buddy. I'm, I'm in thought. Um, all right. I'm going to activate e-call. Uh, declare Nat Beast. I'll chain Fiendish Chain. Okay. He's on the chains. Oh, I have to mill. This is cost, yes, it to, is cost mill, to mill, so I will do this. Yeah. Uh, if Dueling Book lets me, there we go. Witch is gone, Book of Life's gone. I'll MST the Fiendish Chain. Mm -mm -mm. I knew you had one of those face down too, and there's like nothing I could do about it. Yep. Okay. No second chain. Okay. Uh, go ahead. I'll draw. 
Uh, this is what, 22, 44. This isn't enough to kill you if I go all in. I still think you have deep prison back there, so I still just don't even want to attack with this Nap Beast anyway. Uh, let's just go battle. Yep. Go 1,020, or uh, 12. I'll take 1,000 and on the, uh, on the 12, I will prison it. Okay, one prison down. So we thought. Second main. Um, I'm fine. Go ahead. Draw. <clears throat> Stand my main. Yep. Set. Go. Okay. Uh, Stand by main. Want to get a clock on you, but I'm afraid of torrential. I think out of the initial sets, only one of them is left. All of these are new ones. Only one prison is gone. But I still don't want to attack with the Nap Beast, but I feel like just playing into Torrential is just probably bad. We'll hit. I'll call the Haunted. I'll target Stratus. Uh, that's fine. Uh, big man. And then I'll Stratus effect the search. That is fine. I will bottomless him, though. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So Stratus gets banished. My bad. Yep, and I'm all good. Get, get your alias. Yep, I'll get my alias. All right. Uh, after all that, redeclare. Uh, yeah. Uh, second main, I'll just set one. Okay, I will draw. All right, I'm going to special summon Photon Thrasher. Photon Thrasher and uh, alias is the other car? Yeah, that's I'm fine. I'm going to activate Torrential. I see. To do some cleanup duty. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, I'll trigger Sangan eventually yep. here. Alias is the card in hand. I believe you still have two other back row as well. I think this Call the Haunted is destroyed too. Ah, uh, yeah. Call the Haunted because uh, Bottomless yeah. destroys before it vanishes. Yeah. Not that you have yeah, Gores because I know like the card in your hand. But, you know, it, it could be relevant. It, it could be relevant. Uh, I will grab... I'll just grab Mystic Tomato. Okay. Actually, yeah, you know I'm what? Just... Sorry. I'm going to grab Goblin Zombie. Wanna get... Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> I'm going to get Goblin Zombie. All right, okay. continue. Normal. Battle. That's fine. Sure. 19. Prison. Not so. Just not going to win this game if I can't clock you. Go ahead. All right. Draw standby main. Uh, let's go. What could you have now? Uh, we'll go Zombie. Um, I'll Chaos Trap. We'll... Yo, okay. Down to okay. six, Alex. I'm down to six. Was not expecting that, I'll be honest. Uh, I'm going to just set one and Draw. pass. I'll do the same. Go ahead. Okay. Chaos Trap Hole. That's crazy. Yep. Uh, turtle. Try it. I got a deep prison. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I'll pass. Pass. Go. 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 <laughs> Riveting gameplay. Tomato. Yep. You have the third <laughs> oh, book. Okay, all right. Hanging on by a thread. Uh, go. <laughs> Draw. Stand by main. Uh, flip. <laughs> flip. Flip. <laughs> summon anything. Sure, I'll summon something. Oh, yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, good games. Good Damn. games. What's crazy oh. about this is that even if you had bottomless for this, this puts me back to three darks and I drew death. That's insane. <laughs> Man. Dude, I had a whole other strategy I wanted to take today because I thought I'd get lucky. Not even okay. lucky. I thought I'd get decent okay. pulls from my haunted mine. But I just okay. got nothing but upset, bro. I wanted to pull call. I all I need is a Karakuri, a single Beredo, and I have like a pretty okay. cool Karakuri list. Do you really? Mm -hmm. That's sick. But in, in a, in a reroll in the original opening, didn't even pull one of them. It's a simple gold wow. ring. I was stunned. I did not get anything good from this opening. Did you? I see you got gores, which uh, I d I got two gores actually. You got two <laughs> so gores. Not, wow. it's limited. It's limited, so it's not like we can use more. I don't even think you'd use more than one of it anyway. But yeah, I got gores. I also got an extra utopia. That was a gold rare in here as well, which is kind of sick. Yeah. So uh, just slowly expanding my pool of rank fours since you've been ahead of me since generation force in that regard. Didn't need it, but yeah, I figured my back was to the wall, and I figured that I had to like just play something uh, that was just going to be some of the best cards that I have at my disposal. And uh, Haunted Mind, it's zombies.
So I figured uh, that this was going to be my best chance. I have, this may shock you. I've never had Zombie Master up until this opening. This entire time really? I've been with Oh, that, that yeah, actually would surprise me, yeah. It's gotten reprinted like multiple times. I've missed out at every single opportunity to get this card. I also got a second Book of Life, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Just another Monster Reborn. Uh, I wanted to make like a card of safe return zombie deck, but it conflicts with Gores because you can't really, I don't want to get those Call of the Haunteds uh, just sticking on the field if I like sack for a Caius or something. Yep, yep. So, uh, yeah, so that was just, uh, that was the whole game plan, and uh, it was enough to keep me out of the banning, which uh, I'm happy for. I see you decided to play a little copycat over here and yeah. uh, play my deck from last After episode. my original strategy kind of crumbled, I was like, do I just go back on gadgets? And I, I think that deck got lucky with the win last week, actually. Um, but I, I just, Those MSTs, talk about sniping. They were, they were Th crazy, those yeah. were the snipes of the century. And so right I thought there, this deck was already sure. pretty good, too, and I thought it'd be fun to play. You know, kind of take a little page out of your book, and it's not even a bad list. It's pretty, like, well no. put together, so. But, um, yeah. Yeah, just, yeah. I don't think I, I think I have to look back at this. I probably made a few misplays and stuff that were critical, but um, always something to learn with these decks. Yeah, I think that I like the Chaos Trap Pull. This is something that uh, I've also wanted to start experimenting with as well, because although we don't have Solemn Warning, this is essentially Solemn Warning for any deck that plays Light and Darks. And even like your hero deck, Alias is a Light. So like, that's pretty strong because it gets rid of it for like Hero Blasts and stuff. And against me, I mean, it, it just clocked me there just because uh, it slowed me down a little bit and my entire deck loses to it. So yep. as long as you have the life points to spare, it's basically... Uh, solemn judgment or solemn warning light, I should say. I did get lucky sniping your judgment for that dark yeah, hole, I will say. That, so the sniping, so the sniping was in my favor this episode versus last time. Uh, how's your wheel, buddy? I, I'm very nervous about this because you had the opportunity to get stuff from Battle Pack. and I ooh, did. It was, it was a lot be... of options, but um, I've got another one on top of that. I have to figure out what I need to ban from you next week. Ooh, I don't know what that is, Alex. Okay. Uh, it's pretty much okay. a, a question mark above my head. I think we're pretty dead even, so I just got to pick something that's going to get in your head, I think. That, that worries me quite a bit, so uh, I guess we'll have to tune in next week to see what it mm -hmm. is. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT MBTPlayMadolce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Phoenix the Immortal, Dan the Man Hoban, Draconic, Jordan Coons, Little Fade Leaf, Chris Hood, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretz, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Dalton, Inuno Taisho, Thanks for the Sleeves Dad, Max, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, I've tried reading cards before, it was horrible, and my guinea pigs had to get me therapy, Helios515, Simo's Chaos Cooking Draft, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Bio Community Soon, Cancel Bio Committee Soon, Cancel Bio Player Soon, Corvain, Grey Nine, and Micah Pierce. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.